Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and yup, let's just get into it and we could see that today Bitcoin held quite well in my opinion. We can see that Bitcoin held this level right here around the $21,000 to $20,900 area waking up zigzagging up and down as the indices were actually selling off pretty substantially we could see that the s p 500 exactly i'm not gonna say exactly as predicted because i don't like when people say that but we anticipated a rejection around the 200 day moving average and on top of that we had a lot of resistance levels coming in line and on top of that you can even bring down this uh line at right here if you really want to you know make everything match all together but overall you guys get the picture heavy resistance market selling off now are we going to continue is this a move that will be continuing well we could easily reverse this back up start to make our way back towards this level make a form a double top before coming back down once again and then continuing our move back towards the downside and on top of that i'm keep adding stuff to it we do have some news this Friday, like I mentioned on Sunday's video, that the Fed Ger uh, Federal Chair Jerome Powell is going to be speaking at 10 a.m. on Friday. So that will be a market moving event. If you guys don't know who Jerome Powell is, he's the chairman of the Federal Reserve. The guy who's printing all that money. The, guy, the, the one that you guys see on the memes that's always printing money. But yeah. Overall, if the if the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq and everything else, all the indices keep moving lower, then you will see Bitcoin eventually move lower as well. And right now, we can see that Bitcoin is really trying to hold this level. I see a lot of people drawing this trend line right here, which we'll do right now, show everyone what's going on. You can make the case that this is a level that Bitcoin is starting trying to hold right now. And you actually do have a couple touch points. So, but if Bitcoin does break this level, and does not hold 20,400. So if it breaks 20,900 and doesn't hold 20,400, then you, and you got a really good chance of starting to potentially go back down to the $17,000 area. Obviously that 2020 high is going to be trying to hold support as well. But what you could see happening is a potential double bottom pattern where you come back down to the lows, form a bit of a bullish divergence, and then you can take you know your next leg up but again a lot of this is going to be relying on what the traditional markets do if the traditional markets get into a very you know extended sell-off back towards the downside then you're going to see Bitcoin break down and make potentially new lower lows which is a lot of, uh, you know something that a lot of people think that won't happen they think that 17,000 or 18,000 was the low we're not going to go lower than that. So if you get at that level, go all in, which is terrible financial advice. But again, what we give here, none of it is financial advice either. So always take everything I say with a grain of salt because, you know, I'm not always right as well. Right? I can be wrong sometimes. And actually, in the leverage trades lately, I've been getting it wrong quite a lot. So a lot of people have been reluctant to go onto the leverage trades, mostly going into the spot trades where we have a great win rate making calm relaxed trades every now and then and overall getting a great return now is bitcoin going to crash down and make new lower lows eventually i still think bitcoin will make new lower lows because i believe that the s p 500 will roll over and make you know a low back down to the 2020 highs at which point that could coincide with you know the fed pivoting around that time but we're just gonna have to see what happens a lot of the market you know is unsure right now regarding interest rate and how the fed is going to react with the new policies so far looks like they're going to do another rate hike in september potentially 50 basis points or maybe 75 basis points depending on how the inflation data comes out in september so on september 28th they're going to make their decision on the fomc meeting i believe but on september 13 we're going to get the cpi data so that could influence their judgment on on the numbers always something to keep into account and on top of that we got a huge event coming on ethereum the merge the sweet merge that everyone has been waiting for ethereum in my opinion 
will not benefit that much from the merge. I think it's going to be a buy the rumors, sell the news event. You can see that Ethereum is actually retraced back to this level right here to, two, to 0.236. And a, potentially maybe a great long opportunity back up to, you know, to the $25,000 area, at which point I think that will be the top for Ethereum and we're going to go in a heavy short. And, you know, you guys probably don't know what want to know where my price tar targets are at the you know the lower end because a lot of people are calling me a clown and stuff so we're gonna have to see how that plays out yeah overall not that bullish and let's take a look at chili's chili's potentially forming a little bit of a double top right here again let's let's just take a look at uh, traders realities indicator on bitcoin first uh, we can see that we do have a big red vector candle but on chilies we have multiple green vector candles which will ultimately be recovered so i'm not worried about our short position on chilies i know a lot of people are some people have been messaging me about that but uh, don't be worried and again for you guys that join the discord please just send me <laughs> email me your discord username before requesting access to the google sheet if you continually spam requesting access to the google sheet i will not grant it to you because i don't know who you are if you're using a different gmail uh, from your payment account that you signed up with so i have a bunch of people constantly requesting access i and i even replied to you guys to send me your gmail but you don't respond so i could maybe assume that you are a old member that canceled their membership and is trying to gain free access so that's not going to happen moving on let's take a look at natural gas natural gas a beautiful rejection right here from the nine dollars and you know nine dollars and 96 cents area that i outlined again if you guys are in the discord you have access to all my charts and we can see that right here was a major trend line coming in for natural gas but you know if you know the the energy crisis keeps worsening in europe and putin tightens those gas lines even more you could definitely see natural gas break past these levels and at which point we could maybe go to ten dollars fifteen dollars who knows how high this can go obviously i i think natural gas will get a pretty significant pullback back down to the lows but who knows that's when that's when that's going to happen because obviously those those geopolitical events can happen at any time maybe putin's gonna let let loose and release all the gas back which would crash the price of natural gas but right now he's tightening the supply and the demand is still there which is, you know, is significantly affecting the price. But yeah, overall, you guys know where I stand. We actually got a big buy signal the other day on the hash ribbons. Let's take a look where are my hash ribbons. Where are they? There they are. We can see that we did get a buy signal on the hash ribbon indicator, but we've seen that sometimes that you can go a little bit lower before you get a big run up so we can see that right here before the 2020 run that we got actually we did get a big run before but we did get a big buy signal right at these levels and uh, sorry not ethereum bitcoin pulled back about eight percent right before ultimately going up on that massive run to 241 percent so it can always pull back before it gets going so it doesn't mean we can't pull back to 17k before we start to make new highs or you know retest 20, 28,000, 30,000, whatever you want it to be. But yeah, thanks for supporting the channel, guys. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get some rest. This weekend, there's a CNE, or sorry, the 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 CNE that's going on in Ontario. If you guys are Canadian, you guys should get your family, someone special. Take her there. Take them there. Make them happy. Get some fresh air on the weekends. Get off the charts. Love you guys. Peace.